There are certainly levels of injustice. And just as the greatest creator itself is the only true judge of people, there does come a time where you see people performing such immoral acts that something has to be done to stop them. It's not like we can just say, all right, we caught you. We caught you doing wrong. Now, you're forgiven as long as you just change your ways because some of these people will never change their ways. And it is unfortunate that maybe they were brought up that way to follow a certain pattern of living. But the the deep down truth is no matter who you are, if you have a conscious morsel inside your brain and a piece of love with inside your heart, everyone can change. So if people make true efforts to change, then they can be forgiven, even by God. That's why they get another chance to live. There is nobody alive right now that is so evil that God doesn't forgive them. But they are going to go through such pain in order to rekindle that love and that understanding of the universe itself. Many people are seemingly playing those parts right now in your life to see what happens to people when they do not act properly. Now, like I said, there are levels of injustice going on. And as human beings, it's detrimental that we address other beings like us first. What we're doing to other beings like ourselves first. But me, as one individual who simultaneously is as just as concerned as I am for the lives and souls of human beings, I think just as equal to animals in their lives. Now, are they supposed to have just the same rules? They, they don't qualify. They can't possibly do certain things that human beings do. So that's just totally out of the question. But to limit the suffering and injustices that are being done to those beings is definitely something that is possible and within the ability of every single human being that has a morsel of consciousness and a morsel of love within themselves. This is not hard to understand. So people who just want to shirk that off are showing signs of definite madness or being... Def they're showing signs of being a psychopath. And it doesn't mean that they have to remain that way. There's a part of each of us that needs to have these emotions, that needs to be able to gauge how you feel about something so that you can be triggered to do the right or wrong thing. And I'm not saying the wrong thing, but so that you can be triggered to react. And sometimes it may be the wrong thing because you act out of emotions that aren't in control. Now, if you can come from a place that's in control and nobody's expecting everyone to be 100% in control at all times, but the more and more you learn how to control yourself, your actions, your mind, your thoughts, all of those things, your words, the things that you say, even when you're angry, those things are so important. And in order to affect the world around us. We have to definitely start with ourselves, but then we have to reach out. We have to put that out there in the world because that's how things are spoken into existence. That's how things are acted into existence. This isn't just, you know, God's wish for humanity. This isn't just God's doing because governments and world leaders are deciding to kill off their population. Just think about it this way. If there's not enough room for people, but they're still going to keep eating meat, uh, so there's animals or cows and pigs and chickens, not that they're less than us on a living level, but then a human being, if you can cooperate with nature at a level where you're sustaining yourself and you're doing more good for nature or staying neutral with nature, there's nothing wrong with that. Why would you not be able to stay? But there are, are also beings out there who these levels of injustice that I'm speaking about, they definitely take advantage of other beings, whether they're humans, whether they're animals, whether they're nature itself. And those things need to be stood up to. So like I've said more than one time in this specific conversation, there are levels of injustice and we have to start with 
ourself and think about what we're actually putting out into the world. And don't just go, eh, I'm going to do whatever I want. Because that is a spoiled mentality that every person has to somehow work through. You may not even do it this lifetime. But if you're hearing me say this and somebody led you to this, it wasn't just a coincidence. It wasn't just because you weren't meant to hear it. It's because you're meant to understand that you are the universe learning these lessons and some of them are so hard one of the hardest ones is after you understand it and then speaking it to others and showing them even though it makes them uncomfortable because you don't want to hurt them you do love them but the way that you teach them because you love them is to show them things that may hurt them now that seems like such a catch-22 but it is once you understand what we're doing here it takes a lot of pain And through that pain, you can really develop true love for your fellow human being, for your fellow beings, period, for nature and for God. So until next time, bless you all.